Hello Gucci. Today I'm gonna to be doing a book review on that's the wrong side. Diary of a Kid The Deep End. This book is very similar to Jeff Kinney's other vacation books, The Long Haul and The Getaway, where nothing can really seem to go right for the Hefleys. Um yeah, so the book starts out. Um they're living in uh, Grace Grandma's basement because their um, house got wrecked and needs to be fixed, as you can see in this book, Wrecking Ball, which was the book um, that came out for the deep end. Um, yeah, so in this book, basically, um, just a very quick recap, um, you know, they were doing some modifications on their house and um, a hot tub, like, destroys it, I guess. Yeah, the house got destroyed by a hot tub, but that, um, yeah, so that's why they're in their grandma's house, and then Greg's mom decides that they need to go on vacation. I wonder when that's ever happened before. Like, so, Greg's mom decides that they need to go on a vacation. And, actually, before that, the family, you know, they were, they argued about where they should really go, but they find out that, um, Greg's dad's uncle, I believe. Or maybe just Greg's uncle. No, it's Greg's dad's uncle. Um, was giving away his camper. So, Greg's dad really liked the idea of going on a, a road trip with a lot of camping. You know, and everyone's kind of on board with that. So, they get the camper. They, uh, they have to clean it up quite a bit. Um, they get all their supplies for camping. They hit the open road. Um, of course, uh, while they're driving, you know, Greg and Roderick want to be on their phone, their electronics the whole time, but the, uh, Mrs. Heffley, of course, says no, because, um, obviously that happens, in, happens all the time, and, you know, suggests some, you know, better activities, and, yeah, that happens pretty much every book. Um, yeah, after... They get their phones taken away, um, you know, they try to visit some campsites, but they're all full, so they end up going to this lake, but it's actually a, a fish hatchery, so, um, you know, that didn't work out. <laughs> they got chased by some ground crew people, whatever you call it, and, yeah, you know, they find a place to spend the night, and then they uh, are back to the open road. And then, finally, they find a place that uh, isn't full, where they can stop and do some stuff, but unlucky for them, all the all the cool stuff to do, um, you know, requires a high limit, and Manny is just too dang short. So the only thing they can really do is um, go tubing. So they do that. They go tubing, and Greg loses his swim trunks, of course, and it just goes horribly wrong, like everything in these books do. Um, after that, um, you know, Greg gets lost in the woods, he gets attacked by a bear, um, there's a bunch of, um, feces and urine building up in, in their, uh, camper tank, and they don't really have a place to dump it yet, so it's starting to stink. Um, yeah, and you know, like literally everything that, uh, oh, Greg's dad gets lit on fire, forgot about that, because he scared Manny and, um, Manny was holding a marshmallow and, and it landed on Gre uh, his leg, instead of going like this, to get it off, he's like, ah, I'm getting burnt, I'm just gonna stare at what's happening, no, just go like this, it's not that hard, marshmallow, <laughs> No more marshmallow. It might get on your hand, so. That's why you have a shirt, I guess. But anyway, he gets burnt, and they have to leave the campsite. And, oh, yes. Um, this one talks about a lot, <clears throat> a lot more about religion than you have the Dark Will Be Good books, so that, that's something. And I need to drink some water. So anyway, um, yeah, the book talks a lot, a lot more about religion than any of the books. Not that much. A few pages, um, but... They finally find this, um, campsite to go to, um, or like an RV site, you know, so they, uh, find a, 
place to park their RV, and then they signed up for the week. But um, all the good spots are already taken, so they have to go in these really compact spots where they barely have room to park. And yeah, but they can finally dump their uh, um, whatever tank, toilet tank, I call it. And of course, the pool is super crowded. And actually, this. I remember this happening in the Dog Days movie, if you remember that. So anyway, the pool is like super crazy, of course. You know, I talked about it in the movie, I have to talk about it in the book. You know, of course they have the worst campsite out of all the people there. Oh, a skunk shows up and they don't get spray, but the skunk does eat their food. Um, I don't know, Greg talks about how his life was at home or whatever. Not really that exciting. Um, yeah, that's boring. You know, he takes a shower, but it goes wrong, of course. Laundry goes wrong. Everything just goes wrong. And, oh, they try to go canoeing. But they realized the reason no one was using the canoe was because some stupid teens were throwing watermelons or slingshotting watermelons at people. So that's why no one was using them. And then, you know... They almost get killed by a watermelon attack. And then Greg's mom says he should find some other kids his age. Which he does. And basically they go on this um, crazy adventure, kind of, where they do a bunch of fun stuff. And Greg's actually hanging out with some other kids other than Riley and Fregley for once. Which is kind of cool. So they're basically like a 1960s kind of gang of boys or whatever. If you know what I'm talking about. They attack the watermelon kids, and then that goes on for a while. Um, and then, you know, they did some, after they uh, made a mess of the snack shack, um, they're after them, but Greg, so the, and then they got tricked into going somewhere, and they also, Greg was the leader, but Greg wasn't there, so they, there's like a big manhunt out for, for Greg. So Greg's hiding in the pool, and that's where you get this. So anyway, Greg, Greg's hiding in the pool, um, yeah, and then it starts to a lightning storm, and, uh, you know, Greg gets lost again, um, uh, finds his way back to his camper, but then, of course, the skunk, I don't know how I got in there, sprays them, and it's, like, raining, and they're all skunked up, I don't know, uh, and all their stuff stinks. And then the bridge collapse that connects the normal land to the island or whatever. So there's no way to get off. So everyone starts panicking and like looting the stores. And people are getting mad at the people for hogging toilet paper and stuff. Um, yeah, so everyone's panicking. There's like, it's like the purge for it for uh, like a few pages, actually more than a few. It just turns into the purge for a while. The animals are caning up on everyone. And then Greg remembers uh, when he was going to inner tubing, how uh, there's a shallow part, so they thought they could uh, drive their camper over, um, over that, and it didn't work, of course. And uh, when they did it, their uh, sewage thing exploded all over their camper, and what else happened? Oh, a park came out of it, and oh, but they fixed the bridge because the bridge is broken there, but the camper slid right into it, so everyone could leave, and so everyone in the camper left, and then they were the only ones left at the camp, so they could actually have some fun, and that's the end of the book. Grace in high school now, so not in middle school anymore. Um, yeah, anyway, I would rate this book um, the same tier that I put um, these other two books when I made the tier it was, because they're pretty much the same thing. Greg, I mean, of course, I knew everything was going to go wrong if it's a vacation. But, you know, three vacation books now, 9, 12, and 15, so... Um, on numbers that aren't prime numbers in 12, he really likes to make the, um, those kind of books vacation books, so look out for that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions for other videos, um, I'm going to be uploading it today, so if you 
make a suggestion quick, I could probably do that. And anyway, uh, Isaac out.